<laughs> How are ya? Super random, just sitting here talking to a phone. <laughs> but I'll give you a few minutes to start coming in. So, is anyone coming in? Not yet. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hope it makes it super here. fun. Um, no, it's all good. For those of you who are not familiar, I am Carrie. I'm just gonna go ahead and start talking because I hate to like linger on too long just rambling when nobody's here. Um, knowing that a lot of you that are gonna be watching this are actually gonna be watching a rebroadcast later um, because you're not always gonna get notified. In fact, I don't think Facebook even does notifications for when people go live. So, um, my name's Carrie. I am the product manager here at Becky Higgins. And so I work with all of our products from the very beginning when we meet with a designer to the through the design process clear into production whether that is physical product digital or in the app so that's pretty much what I get to do I know dream job for many including myself so um, the reason that we're gathering today is anybody showing up yes has anybody Grace said is okay. yeah. Grace is here <laughs> he's actually sitting right next to me so like that's something. yeah yay people are liking it yeah. yay for the 20 people that are here <laughs> so um, all right um, so our topic today is um, giving you tips and ideas if you happen to have problems with your photos or cards slipping out of your photo pocket pages. Now this is not a widespread problem necessarily, but we do hear from customers occasionally that are having problems with their cards or photos slipping out of their pockets. Um, and so we wanted to share with you just a few tips um, that might be helpful if that's something that you are experiencing. Um, one of the main reasons that that happens that we find is because not all four by six photos are created equal, meaning that one photo printer to another to another may size their four by sixes just slightly differently. And even though we have designed our photo pocket pages to fit a four by six perfectly in the realms of what a four by six should be, it doesn't mean that all photo printers um, have that exact same standard because in a case like the pocket pages, even a little millimeter or two can make a big difference on the way that the photos and the cards fit in your pages. So that being said, um, we just wanted to share a couple of different tips and tricks that might help you if you're having problems with that. Um, so we're going to start with just some, these are our design A photo pocket pages. These are what are probably our most popular style and this is one obviously because the openings are at the top that you might find a little bit of slip. So one of the first tips that we would give you is just to handle your albums carefully. Um, obviously, if you turn your album upside down, there's going to be a chance that things are gonna start falling out of pockets. So we know that our albums are being created to be enjoyed by families and friends and other people, um, but the faster we flip through things and the more kind of frantic we are with our albums can cause for a little bit of slippage. So that's just kind of an easy tip. Just be a little gentle. <laughs> um, and that should hopefully help, if, especially with little hands um because that can be a problem so um let's see yeah don't turn your album upside down <laughs> okay a couple of really simple things would be to use something like washi tape that can just seal over the top of the page so we of course have our washi tape we've actually discontinued two of the colors but we still have tan in our shop and it is actually being retired but it is on clearance for two dollars and eighty cents so you would get two rolls of that so all you would do is find the end of the washi tape, which is always the hardest part, frankly, let's be honest, and just tear off a little tiny section of the washi. And then you would just place it over the top edge. And remember, whatever you put on the front is also gonna go to the back. And then you would just seal it up and over the top like that. So you can see that's gonna help hold things in place, just simple washi. The nice thing about washi tape too is that it's easily removable. So if you stick it down and you don't love the way that it looks, um, then you can just remove it pretty easily. And you could do it right in the center. You could put just a tiny piece in the corner. Anything that's gonna help just keep that edge um, from allowing your um, item to fall out. So washi tape. Another washi item that we have is these little, um, the little washi tape book. This is from our Instax collection, but there are several little pieces of tape in here that you could also, or little tidbits, little hearts and things like that that you could put up and over the edge. So, washi tape. Easy peasy, right? Okay, another one that is really easy is to use some type of shaped paper clip um, or something like that. So, we have these, again, that come with our Instax collection. Um, these come in four different metal colors, and all you would do is just take your little paper clip and clip it up and over the edge. So not only does it add that cute little detail like that, 
but it's gonna hold your card or your photo in place, actually both, because you've got it double-sided, okay? So paper clips. We have those that come with the Instax, and then some of our more recent collections also have these that have the little paper flag, so you can use that, or you can also take the paper off and just use the paper clip. Frankly, you could just use a regular silver paper clip from an office store. Wow, my hair is going out, okay? So that's just another quick tip using some type of paper clip. Um, and they come in all different shapes and sizes depending on where you're looking and shopping. Um, but these are ones that we have available in our shop that work great. So paper clips. Um, okay, another item would be to use chipboard. Um, we have some older chipboard stickers, but a lot of our value kits also, these are from the Playful Edition that has since been retired. But also a lot of our value kits come with either um, chipboard shapes or wood veneer shapes. Anything that has a little bit of thickness to it is going to help fill up that pocket just a tad. So all you would have to do would be to take out your card, and I'm just continuing to work on the same page. You can obviously, you're gonna have all kinds of pages in your albums. But you would just take a little shape, peel it off. These, all are, these already have adhesive on the back of them, and so you would just add a little shape. And just that little bit of thickness added to your card or your photo is gonna help tighten up that pocket a little bit and help hold things in place a little bit more if you're having problems with them slipping, okay? So anything that's got a little bit of thickness to it, chipboard, um, wood veneer pieces, you might wanna add some sequins in there, those aren't gonna add a ton, plus then you're gonna really wanna seal off the pocket, which we'll talk about in just a second. But just using chipboard or wood veneer pieces, that helps. Um, we know that there's a, a little stapler called the Tiny Attacher. We actually don't have one here in the office. We couldn't find one at a local craft store, but a lot of crafters have that Tiny Attacher, little teeny tiny staples. So you could actually staple along the edge if that is a problem for you as well. So that's another tip for what you could use. Okay, before I keep rambling, are there any questions, thoughts, comments that I should be responding to or no? No, but Debbie Robeson. Yes, Robeson, Debbie! She said her Tuesday got so much better. Oh! Oh, you're so sweet, Debbie. Terry loves the paper clip <laughs> ideas. Denise loves these ideas, too. People are like idiots. Oh, good. Great. All right. Well, we're just scratching the surface. Okay, not really. I don't have like 50 ideas for you, but I do have a handful. So I'm going to check my list. Okay, we're going to come back to that one. We did that one. That one, chipboard. Okay. Um, another one that we don't have here in the office to show you, but I know that Avery, which is the label company, makes a round, clear um, label. They're just little circles. I think they're about an inch in diameter. Um, I couldn't find them at my local Office Max or Staples, but I'm sure you could find them online like at Amazon or something like that. But something like that that's just clear that would be similar to the washi tape where you would just place it on the one side, fold it over the edge, and it would secure over the top. Because it's clear, you're not gonna notice it as much. You could even cut those down if you don't wanna use the whole circle. Um, so that's just another idea. I know that Avery also sells like full sheet labels that you could even use if you have just like a round punch, something like that. I know I've got all different sizes of circle punches, so you could use a really small circle punch and just punch out some of those and put those over the edges as well. Okay, um, another one I think is really smart is to, because when you're working with your pocket pages, you're usually dealing with two. You've either got two cards back to back, you've got a photo on one side, a card on the other side, but it's similar to the idea of adding chipboard. In fact, I'm gonna do it in a different pocket page since I already have chipboard on that one. Um, look how much tighter that chipboard made it. <laughs> okay, but, um, oh, that one's only got one, just kidding, haha. <laughs> so this one's got two, this one actually has two photos on it, okay? So another idea is to take, again, something that has a little bit of thickness to it. I personally like something like um, foam dots. I've got a couple different ones here. They come in different thicknesses, but the cool thing about this is taking these foam dots, which is gonna add your thickness, and stick them in between your photos or your cards. Now the reason that this is great, and I'm just gonna put them along the top because remember that thickness is gonna kinda carry through your whole pocket. And then I'm gonna peel these back. And then I'm gonna stick my other photo. I just wanna make sure you get them lined up really well together like that. So the cool thing about that is it adds the thickness. Can you see that? Okay. It adds the same thickness as if you were adding chipboard or wood veneer pieces or things like that. But because they're in between your photos and your cards, by the time you slip it inside your pocket, you can't see the added element, but it adds just that little bit of thickness, which is gonna tighten up the way that things fit in that pocket and keep them from slipping in and out. 
So that's a really um, kind of like stealth way to do it. You're not gonna even notice it because it's not gonna be washi tape or something that you can actually see exposed through the pocket because you're only gonna see it if you're looking at the top. If you wanna get really stealth, you could do it to the middle or to the bottom and then you won't even see it along the top. So, um, and like I said, these, these are foam squares that I have. These are little foam hexagons that I got from Stampin' Up. Um, so there's lots of different foam adhesives out there, but they work great. They even have a foam tape if you want to use a tape and then you can kind of control the size. So that's another idea. Um, let's see. Okay. Let's see a cover. Oh, now if you want to actually stick your photos or cards inside your pockets, you can do that. Um, I, these are just mini glue dots. They're clear and they're thin. You don't want anything that's going to give you any thickness here. Um, and so there's a couple different options. I've got these mini glue dots. I have something here that is called score tape. I've honestly had this in my stash forever, um, just because I've used it for a lot of different crafting projects for putting together packaging and things like that. But if you look online for score tape, I'm sure you can find something. Or they sell this really super sticky red tape as well. But all of them are really clear. And so the nice thing about that is I'm just gonna actually use the score tape. But even with the mini glue dots, all you would do is cut a tiny piece. See, look at this is one eighth of an inch. It's so tiny. You won't even notice it. People love your top, by the way. Oh, hi. Thanks. This was in my last Stitch Fix. Yes, a little plug for Stitch Fix because I do wow. still love Stitch Fix. <laughs> um, okay. So all you would do is take these out and add just a little teeny tiny adhesive to the front corner. And all this is gonna do is give you adhesive so that when you actually put it inside your pocket, it will stick to the plastic, which is obviously gonna hold it in place. But the nice thing is with something like this that's really clear. Okay, I'm gonna peel this back. Peel it down away just a little bit. Okay. Then when I stick it back inside my pocket, I'm gonna pull that back. I'm gonna slide it into place. And then all I'm gonna do is do a quick little zoop across the top. And if you look at that, I don't know if you can even see it because it's magic and it's clear. So you're not really gonna notice. Can you? Oh yeah, I mean, you don't see it at all. That's you awesome. don't really see it, okay? But if I go to try and pull that card out of that pocket, that baby ain't going anywhere, okay? So that's a really great alternative because like I said, it is clear. You're really not gonna hardly notice it. And if you see this roll of score tape, see how big it is? And see how teeny tiny, like I literally cut off like maybe a half an inch, quarter an inch. So you could really do the tiniest bits and it'll hold those in place. So you could do a thousand gajillion pocket pages with one roll of score tape and then you would have nothing slipping around. So that's another idea. Same thing with glue dots. You could just use these. These are already pre-proportioned. You just stick them in your corners and you're good to go. Okay. Let's see. Any questions? Not so far. Not so far. I feel like every time I lean over, my hair is going in my face, so sorry about that. It's gorgeous. You know. Okay, so um, like I mentioned in the beginning, um, one of the issues is that a lot of photo printers don't necessarily have the same size 4 by 6 and one in particular is the Canon Selfie Printer. Okay, we know a lot of you love your Selfie Printer because it makes it easy to be able to print your photos at home. Um, but the thing with the selfie, which I was not able to actually print a photo because the cord for the selfie didn't get left here at the office. Um, but um, the, what you'll see is these prints, once they print out, they have these little tabs on the end that snap off. Okay, that's what kind of helps pull them through the printer. But by the time you snap these off, if you compare these to a regular four by six size print, hmm? You see the difference there, people? Hold it a little closer, there you go. See the difference? Oh yeah. So anytime you're using a print from a selfie printer and you actually snap the tabs off, it is gonna be a little bit shorter, which in turn, when you put them in your pocket pages, is going to make them looser, okay? So there's a couple options. I know some people with their selfie printer, instead of actually snapping off the tabs, they use a paper trimmer and they actually trim their photo to six inches wide. So there's a little teeny tiny bit of the tab left on the end, but since it's printed as a photo, in most cases when you're looking through your album, you're not even gonna notice that there's that little teeny tiny fine perforated line. So for some people, they're using their paper trimmer and boom, done, they, and that's gonna give them a more full size photo. If 
you are just getting quick and you're gonna go ahead and snap those off. One other tip I would give is to go ahead and use either four by six cardstock. You can cut it down to size to go along with whatever colors you're doing in your layout. Or we have our four by six white cards. They're white. They're easy breezy, right? Oh, and that's not really gonna be super helpful because this is white. <laughs> you're not really gonna be able to see what I'm doing here. <laughs> that wasn't the smartest. I grabbed the white because most of our colored, all of our colored card stock is sold out now. We are not selling it anymore. But if you get the idea here, you would just take your photo and lay it over the top. And then you would just use adhesive, any type of adhesive, just like a tape runner or whatever. And then you would just roll it on the back of your photo, stick it onto the four by six card because that's actually gonna give you the full size that you need. I know you can tell all the detail here. We got glossy versus matte, okay? And that's gonna help fill your pocket. Then you would take the four by six card, slip it in, and that's gonna give you that extra width that you're missing if you're snapping off those tabs on the selfie cards or selfie photos or whatever they are. Ah. <laughs> Does that help? <laughs> Am I making any sense here, people? Mm -hmm. Probably not. Okay, so we've covered mounting on cardstock. We've covered using foam in between your cards and your photos. We've covered using chipboard or wood veneer pieces, something that's gonna add a little bit of thickness. We've covered using some type of a clear adhesive actually inside your pocket to help stick it right to the inside of your pocket. Um, shaped paper clips, we've used that idea. We've talked about washi tape to seal up and over the edge. We've also talked about clear mailing labels or getting like the full clear label sheets from Avery and using a circle punch to do those, okay? So we've covered lots of different ideas so far, but one more I'm gonna share with you. And some people shy away from this, but I'm not gonna let you shy away. Okay, if you do this and you tap and you see you've got a nice little edge right here. Wait, I'm gonna turn yeah. this way because that <laughs> one's not very cute. That's the back. Okay, you can see you've got a little bit of clear space there, right? Can everybody see that? Raise your hand if you can see it. Okay, so what we're gonna do is actually bust out our fuse tool. Now, for those of you who are not familiar with our fuse tool, it looks like this. It's really pretty, it's really lightweight has two different tips. The tip that you want if you're gonna do this is this little round, rolly, perforated looking tip. Do I look like a crazy person over there, Race? You look amazing. <laughs> I was made for camera, wasn't I? Okay. People are loving the tips. They oh, said you're doing awesome. I'm so glad. Um, this is not my day job, just so you know. Well, this is my day job, but this recording, not my day job. Um, okay, so the fuse tool. And the way that this works is it heats up, and then this little perforated tip, I'm not gonna touch it because it will burn my finger, okay? Is going to allow you to seal two pieces of plastic together. Now, this here is two pieces of plastic because you've got the front of the pocket and the back of the pocket, okay? You wanna make sure that you have enough um, space at the top to actually run a seam. Because some of those, if you've got a four by six pocket and it literally goes up to the top of your pocket, you're not gonna be able to seam it with the fuse tool. So you can either trim down your photo if you feel like you're still having issues with it um, falling out. You could trim down just a tiny bit of your photo to allow for a seam, or you can try one of the other tips that I've given, because I've given you several at this point. Okay, with the fuse tool. Comes with a couple parts. Comes with this, which is a little stand, so that you can keep it on your workspace like that, okay? It's gonna come with this six inch ruler that has a little groove all ready for you. And it's actually got little, they're not really glue dots, but they're, they help keep it from sliding. See, it's magic, okay? This, and then you've got your tool. Like I said, this little dotted, it looks like a little dotted wheel. That's the one that you want in order to seal. The other one looks like a little, kind of like a gold tip, and that is actually a cutting tool. So um, not to segue away from the focus here, but um, for people that are using the fuse tool, um, if you're wanting to cut, a lot of people will actually like take the fuse tool and like cut their photo pocket pages down. Like if they want a different size, if they want a nine by 12 or a six by 12, you can use that cutting tool to do that. And you just use this little ruler, unless you've got a really steady hand, that's your choice. Okay, back to where we were. Okay, so I'm gonna make sure that when I'm trying to seal it, I'm going ahead and I'm pushing my card and my photos down as far as I can simply so that I get as much space, oh, I, sorry, <laughs> sorry, so I get as much space along the top as I can possibly get, okay? Because you want as much room as you can so that you can actually um, make that seal, okay? Now, I always recommend, instead of working right on your desktop, put either a piece of cardstock underneath you, 
put some type of like a heat resistant mat or a um, cutting mat, that sort of a thing. Um, I'm just using a piece of cardstock because I forgot to bring my mat. So I'm awesome like that. Okay, so what we're gonna do, and it doesn't matter which side you do it on, I'm just gonna tuck this down. Say a little prayer that this works while I'm doing it on camera because I've done it before. I just wanna make sure that, well, with my luck, it's not gonna work. So um, then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your ruler and you're gonna line it up. Now, the cool thing is because it's got that little slit, you can actually line it up and you can see, I should probably break out my glasses, but that can be embarrassing. I'm gonna line up the bottom of my ruler with the top of my card. Now, if I hold this up for you, it's probably gonna slip and I'm gonna have to realign it, but I wanna show you what I'm doing here. Can everybody see what we're doing there? So you can't see my card because the top of my card is along that bottom edge. Am I good in You're the camera? Good. Okay, perfect. It's along that bottom edge of that opening. Okay. Who's in the hallway? <laughs> <laughs> Wendy, Wendy. Okay. So we see what we're doing, right? Becky's watching. She wants to know, let you know that you're doing a great job. Oh. You look gorgeous. Thanks. Thanks, Becky. <laughs> You're so nice. Okay. Um, so I've got this all lined up. Isn't that funny that I didn't even think about the fact she's probably at home watching me going, mm, that girl better not screw up. Critiquing everything I know. I do. I know. Like she does. I know. <laughs> My raise is dependent on this video, people, so give me lots of thumbs up, okay? Just kidding. It's totally not. <laughs> Ray, Ray's just gave you a thumbs up. Yes! Okay. All right. So then I'm going to take my fuse tool and I'm going to hold it just like a pencil or a pen. And I am going to... A lot of thumbs up now. Yay! Um, uh, they're flying all yes. over. Lots <laughs> of flying. <laughs> Thank you so much, people. I appreciate your support. Okay. Um, okay, so... <laughs> this is for the blooper reel, Kara. Just so you know, in case Kara's watching. Um, Someone just said, glasses aren't embarrassing. Isn't that your other day job? Which is true. Glasses are not embarrassing. Who said that? Julie Kaplan? Okay. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Sort of, but not really my other day job. I stay away from there as far as I can, but I do have a few pair myself now. Okay, so back to the fuse tool. <laughs> okay, we're lined up. I'm not seeing my card because obviously it's not gonna seal if I'm not, if the plastic has to be touching the plastic. I guess that's what, sh what I should mention. In order for it to seal, the plastic has to be touching the plastic because that's what the heat from the fuse tool is going to seal together, okay? So I'm getting nervous. I feel like I'm going to surgery. <laughs> All right, so I've got it lined up. I'm gonna go ahead and just very slowly, with a little bit of pressure, I'm just gonna run it right along that little canal there. Oops, just kidding. <laughs> okay, see what I'm doing there? Okay. Oh, is somebody trying to call me? Oh yeah, somebody's trying to call me. Does it matter how fast you go? I mean, it's slower, better, um, lower it, a few times? You know, it does. My recommendation with the fuse tool, seriously, oh, hi, that's my dog groomer trying to call and tell me that my dogs are done. Um, <laughs> my kids need to go pick them up. Um, with the fuse tool, honestly, my best suggestion to you is practice with it. So um, it, it's not hard to use, but I think it's just a matter of getting a feel for how fast you should go, what angle you should hold it at. So there really is no perfect 100% right answer for every person. It's a matter of how you want to use it and kind of how, you know, how comfortable you are. Are you right-handed? Are you left-handed? Are you going left to right? Are you going right to left? So just practice with it. I would just take an old photo pocket page or a page protector even because those don't have all the pockets and just practice. Just set your ruler down, practice going through the ruler. Okay, did that seal the way that I wanted it to? Maybe I'll try going slower. Just kind of get a feel for what works best for you. So here's the magic. All right, so now, oh, just kidding. I don't want to pull that down on myself because guess what? It's hot, people. You want to be careful with that. It's kind of like using a, a curling wand. Okay, <laughs> so can you see that? Yep. Along the top? Okay, and so what that's done now is it's given a seal across the top of that pocket, which I can't even put my fingers inside there now because it's all sealed up, okay? But the cool thing about the tool too is that that tip is meant to replicate the same type of little dotted seal that we have on all the other pockets in our pocket page. And so it doesn't look out of place or anything like that. And because you have the ruler guide, as long as you're using this, and again, that's, this is another thing that I'm saying to use practice, just practice, lay it down, make sure that you're getting it straight the way that you want it. 
but this will help you keep that line straight. And so really, as you practice with it and use it for that, you could run that all the way across your page. Obviously it's only six inches, so you'd have to do one pocket, then do the next pocket. Um, but you could do a whole group of these, pull out a bunch from your album. If you're having concerns or you're having problems with that, maybe you're using the selfie prints and they are a little bit smaller. So the quickest thing to do is just, I'm just gonna go ahead and start sealing up all those pockets. Um, I think for most people, it's the top pockets that they're having the most problems with because when you're flipping your pages through, these still are really, you know, more self-contained. These might be a little bit of a problem too. I don't personally have major issues, but the reason that we wanted to bring it up is because we know that some of you are having problems with that. And so because of that, and because of some inconsistency with photo sizes, we just want to make sure that we address that and give you some ideas of ways that you can remedy that problem in your own albums if it's something that you are dealing with. So, anything else? I don't think so. Tips? Someone asked if you could get the fuse flip Michaels. Someone else said yes, Michaels and yes. Hobby Lobby both carry it. Yes, correct, true story. That's about it, okay. people love it. Okay, Great are we good? Perfect. So now you know exactly what to do if you're having problems, refer back to this video and eventually this video will make it to our YouTube channel so you'll be able to see it there as well. Um, yeah, so I hope that has brightened your Tuesday. One quick question. Yes. Is it impossible to unseal if you make a mistake? Like if you've sealed it crooked, it probably is a goner, right? Right, so at that point, I mean, you could use the, the cutting tip and you could cut it back open, but you would still see the, the part that was melted unless you, for some reason, like totally trimmed that off. So that's why I say when you get the fuse tool, because it really is a cool tool, um, when you get it, practice with it before you start saying, I'm gonna go seal up all of the, my top pockets. I would just, you know, get a feel for the tool and how it rolls and the angle to hold it at that works best for you before you start sealing them all up. So, does that help? Okay, thanks for watching, guys. See ya.